And this is section 5.1 continued. Again, we're working still on finding solutions to linear equations. Hopefully you wrote down part um, D here and maybe you've tried it on your own. If you haven't, maybe you want to pause it and try, try it now by yourself. Now, remember there's no guarantee if you do that that you'll actually get my solution and, or will have chose the one that I chose. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to find an easy solution. I'm going to let y equal 0. Letting y or x equal 0, those give us special ordered pairs. Remember when x equals 0, we're finding the y-intercept, and when y equals 0, we're finding an x-intercept. So when I let y equal 0, I'm finding the special point, which is our x-intercept. And therefore, this is a solution, but it's a special solution. So plugging that in, I have 6 times 0 plus 7 times x, which is equal to 42. And now I multiply by the reciprocal of the 7 on both sides, and that's going to give me that x is equal to 6. And so my ordered pair solution is x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 0. And we do notice that's the x-intercept, right? The x is here and the y is 0, so we know it's an x-intercept. We can check that. 7 times um, 6 is 42 plus 6 times 0, which is 0. 42 plus 0 is 42, and 42 does indeed equal 42. And so that was a very nice solution. Now, we could do the same thing in the previous example, um, this 3x plus a minus 7y example, and you might want to try that by letting y equal 0 here and solving for x, and you'll notice that you do get a really nice solution. You get that x is equal to 3 when y is equal to 0. And again, that would be the x-intercept point on that particular one. Now, moving on, we're going to talk about the intercepts. So our intercepts, remember, are the places where a linear, um, a, where a line crosses the x or the y-axis. And we have an, an x-intercept when it crosses the x-axis and a y-intercept when it crosses the y-axis. Now some um, books make a big deal about this difference between an intercept point and an intercept. Your book doesn't make a big diff deal out of it, and I really don't make a big deal out of it, even when books that I teach from do make a big deal. Because anytime I want to see an intercept, I do want to see an ordered pair because we are going to plot that and then, of course, label it. So I want to see um, the intercept anyway. So now, when we find a y-intercept, that, remember, is letting the x equal 0 and then solving for the y. And vice versa, if we wanted to find an x-intercept point, as we just saw happen, we let the y equal 0 and solve for x. Now this kind of can seem backwards in some ways to students because you're like, oh, wait a minute, I'm letting the other thing equal 0. Well, yeah, of course you're letting the other thing equal 0. Remember that when you want to find a y-intercept, you want to get the number for the y, right? So you're let, making the other variable go away. So if you're wanting to find the y-intercept, you're making the x go away. And if you want to find the x-intercept, you're making the y go away. And that means setting them equal to 0. So why don't you copy these down, finding the intercepts for these lines, a through c. And why don't you try those on your own, and then come back and see if you got it correct or not. Okay, so looking at our first example um, in part five, our example five, we have the x-intercept. Finding an x-intercept, you're going to let y equal zero. So we put in y equals zero. Now notice I've labeled this. I want you to label your work because I want to make sure that you know which is which. So y equals zero when I want to find an x-intercept. So 2x minus 4 is equal to 4 times zero. So this is going to be 0 over here, and I'm going to add the opposite of a negative 4 to both sides, and so now I have that 2x is equal to 4. And once I have that, 2x is equal to 4, then I can say, oh, well, I need to do the multiplication property, so multiply by the reciprocal of the numeric coefficient, and finally I'm going to get that x is equal to 2. And from there, I can go ahead and write it as an ordered pair. My x-intercept is 2, comma, 0. And now I can do my y-intercept, and you're going to have to catch that on the next video.